not about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? After a very slow start to free agency, Ryan Poles, late Tuesday night, made a couple of moves in free agency. The first move he made was adding linebacker Nicholas Morrow of the Las Vegas Raiders and then adding an offensive lineman and Lucas Patrick from the Green Bay Packers. So let's let's break it down and let's talk about it. Bears are giving Nicholas Morrow a one-year, $3 million deal with $2.5 million guaranteed. And... For me personally, this is a great value signing, uh, and linebacker was obviously a position of need. Obviously, we are going to release Danny Trevathan, and in this 4-3 scheme, we need linebackers. We need athletic, fast linebackers, and this is exactly what Nicholas Morrow will bring to that position for the Chicago Bears 4-3 defense. He's only 26 years old, um, and he's an inexpensive player who has improved each season and could be a legit starter alongside Roquan Smith. And I know a lot of Bears fans, including myself, will love this idea by adding a guy that is just as fast and athletic as Roquan Smith. For example, I was reading some uh, reports on on their speeds, their comparison of speeds. Roquan Smith ran like a 4-5-1. Nicholas Marl was right behind him with the 4-5-2. So now the Chicago Bears have two legitimate very athletic linebackers to hopefully execute um, this 4-3 defense that Matt Eberflus is bringing to Chicago. For me, the thing that stands out about Nicholas Morrow the most is his ability to not only rush the passer, but his ability as a coverage linebacker, a guy that can drop back in coverage and do it very well, which is very important when you're thinking about running a 4-3 scheme. Something that is kind of concerning, but not too concerning. He did miss all of last year, 2021, with a foot injury, but he should be ready to go as the new season approaches. But overall, I really like the Nicholas Morrow signing as it didn't cost us very much to get a pretty good player to come in and hopefully be a starter alongside Roquan Smith. So how do you guys feel about the Nicholas Morrow signing for a one-year, $3 million deal to become the Chicago Bears, hopefully new starting linebacker alongside Roquan Smith. Let me know down below in the comment section. The next move that Ryan Poles made late Tuesday night, and this is going to get everyone excited, excited was an offensive lineman. The Bears are giving offensive lineman Lucas Patrick a two-year, $8 million deal with $4 million guaranteed. And personally, I really like this pickup because once again, we get a position of need. Obviously, it's not a splashy splashy sign at all, but we get a position of need at a very team-friendly cost. And I feel like he is a pretty good player that is, like I said, coming in on a nice contract. Patrick is a tough, smart, and versatile lineman who can play guard or center while he's with the Green Bay Packers. He played center, right guard, and left guard, so that gives us a little bit of flexibility on on where we can put him and be a legitimate starter. And I truly feel that if we do happen to put him at center, that is a legitimate upgrade over Sam Mustafer. And another thing you have to realize with bringing in Lucas Patrick and bringing him into Chicago, he's going to know uh, what Luke Getze is going to run and what he's bringing to Chicago, like the back of his hand. So that kind of gives us the opportunity to bring in a guy that knows Luke Getze's offense, right? And will be able to mentor these other guys on the offensive line and what Luke Getty is trying to do. And another thing that I really like about Lucas Patrick is that coaches and players from Green Bay have raved about what Lucas Patrick uh, brought to their football team. That includes head coach Matt LaFleur. Aaron Rodgers has some nice things to say also about Lucas Patrick. You could tell he's a well-respected guy, a guy that works hard. And this is no, by no means a splash signing, right? This is a guy that um, still needs to improve uh, as a run blocker, but adding Patrick to the offensive line is huge as not only will he know gets his offense inside and out, he gives the Bears a legitimate starter option at three offensive linemen spots, and most importantly, he will definitely help uh, be able to protect Justin Fields and keep Justin Fields upright, which is what all Bears fans, including myself, that's what we want. We know that offensive lineman was a huge need, and I feel like this is absolutely a great start by bringing in Lucas Patrick on a nice two-year deal. 
So how do you guys feel about the Chicago Bears adding Lucas Patrick on a two-year deal? And once again, how do you feel about the Bears adding linebacker Nicholas Morrow um, on a one-year deal? Let me know down below in the comment section. And something that I want to get off my chest before I end today's today's episode of Keek on the Mic is I understand that this wasn't the starter free agency that uh, everyone was hoping for. Obviously, with Ryan Pace, we were used to him just going out there and just spending all the money. Um, an example I like to use on Ryan Pace was back in 2018 when we signed Turbo Taylor, when we signed uh, um, Trey Burton, the tight end, right? We were just out, out there signing everybody. We almost kind of looked like what the Jacksonville Jaguars are doing this year. But we have to understand that Ryan Poles is taking a different approach. He's looking for depth, right? He's looking to add multiple good players to come in and compete um, to to create a true contender, uh, a consistent contender in the near future. And I feel that by adding a guy like Morrow and Lucas Patrick, that's a good example of what he's trying to do. He's trying to add good players on team-friendly contracts that can come in and produce right away. And personally, as a Bears fan, I like his approach. Obviously, it gets boring at moments to just sit here and say, wait, Ryan Poles, what are you doing? Obviously, we saw DJ Chark get signed, right? You're seeing uh, guys that we we wanted um, going to different destinations. But you also see these guys are getting huge contracts, contracts that they may not be worth. So I'm fine with Ryan Poles sitting back and not giving a guy that may not be worth that much money. For example, like Christian Kirk. I don't think he's worth all that money. So I'm fine with Ryan Pohl sitting back and waiting for the right players in the second and third waves of free agency to come to Chicago on team-friendly deals and help us win football games right away. And I get it. They may not be flashy signings, but I guarantee you that they will come in and help this football team win games, hopefully, right away. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't